So going back to this video, um, I've made a few videos on stock market. Um, I just want to make a few more. Um, I'm wondering why a lot of people don't actually invest in stocks. Um, I'm based in the UK and a lot of the stocks here actually are doing pretty well and they probably will be doing well for a few years. Now I just want to name some stocks that I think are future buys or <clears throat> 2018 and 2019 so if you buy these stocks now probably do well in 2019 so the first one is Centrica Centrica is British stock um, I think it's trading about £2.20 £2.10 um, per share now literally Centrica will be probably the biggest name in household energy for a long long time and um, most people know them as British Gas now they're fantastic dividend is about eight percent at the moment it will probably settle down at about four to five percent and they may cut a dividend at some point and um, just to make up for what they've done now another one that's probably a semi decent one I would say is um, Vodafone Vodafone trading pretty much similar trade size very steady dividends they will go up they will do well now a bargain, probably the best one to buy is Tesco's. Now with Asda and Sainsbury's merging together, Lidl and Audi doing very well, um, Tesco's, you know, they had a bit of a profit warning on their overseas sales, but their British sales are growing at, growing at a faster rate. Um, they're losing a bit of market share, but their profits are hugely increasing. Now, the thing that's very important, the stock is very cheap now, um, very good to buy. Also, they're getting a small dividend, about 1.2%, which will probably go up. As it goes up, your share price will shoot up. And also, um, the main thing to know, they made a billion pound profit. They're, they're, multi, you know, they're a multi-billion pound turnover company. There's no way it's going to go bankrupt. It can only go up. It's dead, dead cheap at the moment. So do buy those three shares. I'll be purchasing them up. And obviously, I'll talk about, as a bonus, my favorite share in the world is FNC commercial properties and trust if you want me to spell that out or you need it in the description let me know I'll be more than happy to do so um, they pay a monthly dividend their class as a REIT so it's a retail investment you literally buy the stock and you get paid off renting so if you can't afford to actually buy a property probably the best bet is to buy that stock 